Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, J registration, so either 1991 or 92. Um, Land Rover 110 station wagon, 200 TDI, although it has been refitted with a 300 TDI instead. Um, refinished in black, I think originally it was blue, and it's been um, repainted in black. Lots of checker plate and things on it, looks quite big and tough. Matching set of uh, BF Goodrich Mud Terrain TAs, certainly a set of four. Um, size wise, what are they? Uh, 265 75R16s on um, black eight spoke rims. Uh, checker plate to the rear quarters, doors, quarter panels, modesty covers, um, wing tops, and bonnet. So, about as much checker plate as you can get. Um, front bar. Uh, factory steering guard. We need to get the jet wash underneath. Actually, it's a bit muddy underneath. It's been uh, just come from on our farm. Um, it's had a, at least a one-inch suspension lift. Looks like it's got heavy-duty rear shocks on the back of it. Um, apparently, it's got a Salisbury rear axle in it as well for a bit of extra strength. Um, tow pack with fitted um, rear step. Mud flaps on the back, yeah, rear mud flaps. Um, and inside we've got, in the back it's all fully ply lined, the rear seats, the rear most transverse seats have been taken out. We've got, um, it's fully plied and carpeted in the back, big dog guard. Um, and in the middle we've got high back, rather nice cloth high back um, middle row of seats from track. Uh, it's got a radio CD, although so I don't think the aerial's connected, so I can't get much of a signal from the radio. That's about it, really. Oh, and factory steering guard. Um, right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, has been repainted, as I say, from uh, its original blue into black. Not a bad job, but it is sort of... Uh, uh, it's been done agriculturally on a farm, shall we say. So uh, there's a, it has been, looks like it's been done by, uh, by a brush or roller, possibly. Um, not a bad job. Possibly sprayed here and... Actually, I don't know. Looks like it's been sprayed and perhaps touched in a bit with a with a with a brush, but it suits the vehicle, should we say? It's um it's a nice glossy black, um, not too uh, a few sort of you know rinks, minor Land Rover wrinkles and dinks in panels, but no more than that. Front wings all look good and solid, um, and nice and straight. One or two tiny tiny dinks in the uh, uh, small dent just in the barrel side on the top of the near side front wing just there, but no more than that. Uh, and a little dent just here in the front of the wing where it meets the um, uh, the headlamp closing panel just up there. Probably done before the bull bar was fitted in fairness. Um, scuttle corners, uh, certainly on the near side it looks really good, no problems there, just a little bit of bubbling just coming up underneath the paint around there but no more than that. That all looks nice. Uh, near side door, there's a few parking dinks in it just up and around here but no more than that again. I've managed to get this one incredibly muddy just driving down this farm track. Um, inside, front seats are, um, are, are vinyl. Looks like this passenger one is out of a slightly later vehicle. Um, and there's a couple of minor nicks just in the, uh, the, the passenger seat base just there and there. But the, uh, the middle seat uh, looks good apart from a bit of staining up here. Driver's seat is fine. Dash is all good. Headlining is a bit grubby in the back but um, it's all there, the usual sort of slightly saggy headlining in one of these. Um, near side door, looks like it's been repaired at the front corner there. Yeah, I think the near side front door has been um, been repaired, but actually not a bad job. And it's not moving on the hinges at all, that's all good. Um, near side rear door, it's all carpeted in the back here as well, all quite uh, nicely done, the same as the, um, as the cargo area. All looks pretty good in there. Those high back seats are great. Um, this rear door has also been repaired down the bottom edge, but uh, not a bad job. And also, it's had a repair section put in there, which is where they always uh, fail badly, just there. So that's all been done, which is nice. Uh, near side rear wing is all good. Around the back end, it all looks good. Got a hasp here. There's a padlock inside, so you can lock the um, lock the rear up. As I say, it's all been properly boarded out in here and carpeted, which is all quite nice. And you've got that big dog guard in there. My camera doesn't come with it, incidentally. Oh, we'll look at the tailgate, won't we? Um, tailgate, again, has, has been repaired in the, uh, the usual sections down the bottom here, both corners, 
um, and up there, the usual spots where they rust. Um, looking down the offside, the usual sort of slightly minor dinks and donks in the doors and stuff like that, but uh, it is an ex-working Land Rover, so a few dents up there. Um, inside here, all looks pretty good in there, no problem at all. I bet this door, yes, this door again has been, uh, has been repaired. The new panels popped in and on the bottom of the frame as well, but it does the job. Driver's side inside here, driver's seat's all good. Um, footwells have been carpeted, or the toe boards rather. Uh, again, repairs to the, um, to the frame edges, don't know quite what's in there, but um, seems to be sort of uh, doing the job and holding the door up. And there's again, no movement in the hinges. So presumably that's all uh, been done properly. Looks slightly untidy if you poke the frames from the inside, but it's all there. Um, scuttle corners, all very good on the offside as well. A couple of runs in the paint on the um, on the front flaps, but that's about it. It does look like it's been sprayed, perhaps, apart part for perhaps a bit of paint just here on the offside front wings. I see a few, few brush marks in there, but otherwise it uh, looks like it's been sprayed. Um, that's about it, really. Nice vehicle, drives really well. Um, and it is a proper station wagon. That's it, really. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. We take hard exchanges. Uh, we take Visa and MasterCard debit cards and credit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards, and we can ship it anywhere you like in the world. That's about it. End.